Huawei's replacement to the Android is going to be their very own Hongmeng OS, also known as the Oak OS. This thing is certainly making the headlines. Is the Oak OS going to be a threat to Android and will it eventually replace Android? Without further ado, let's get into it. Huawei founded in the year 1987 was initially focused on manufacturing phone switches. Then it gradually expanded its business operations to include building telecommunication networks, operational and consulting services and equipment to enterprises to both China and internationally. With over 200 million smartphone sales in 2018, Huawei overtook Apple and became the second largest phone manufacturer in the world just behind Samsung. It was predicted that Huawei could have been the largest manufacturer in the world overtaking Samsung by the end of 2019 if they wouldn't have got into the problem that they are facing right now. According to the reports, Huawei's annual revenue in 2018 was a whooping $108 billion which was a 21% increase when compared to their 2017 revenue. Huawei is currently operating in over 170 countries, making them one of the strongest out there in the market. It still holds the 72nd place on the Fortune Global 500 list. Although being internationally successful, Huawei has faced difficulties in some markets due to the cybersecurity allegations, primarily from the United States government. The development of 5G wireless network added fuel to the fire, which resulted in some serious problems to Huawei. Although the allegations are made, the statement has not yet been proven by the US government. Huawei officially made a statement by strongly rejecting the statement made by the US government. Later after the problem started growing, in 2018 the United States government finally decided to ban Huawei from the US market. Now as we all know, months back China and the United States came into a trade war which literally had led to a war in the tech industry. Taking Huawei's ban into a different magnitude, few weeks back, the President of the United States, Donald Trump, has instructed Google to stop all the business activities with Huawei. Donald Trump is a bad guy, he's a bad person. Vote against Trump. Huawei for the past few years has been running the Google's Android operating system with all of Google's services. Now the ban has resulted in Huawei to not use any of Google's related services in the upcoming devices. This means there won't be any YouTube, Maps, Play Store, Play Protect or any of Google's services in their upcoming devices. This will not have an effect to the current Huawei users but is definitely having an effect to the upcoming devices. The ban has dropped Huawei sales by over 40% which is quite massive for a company of this magnitude. Now the common question we have is, without Android, will Huawei be able to survive? The answer is yes. We all knew that Huawei was banned weeks back, but it seems like Huawei about 10 years back has predicted that they will have to face this situation and must have an alternate operating system for Android. They have been developing their own operating system since then. They already knew that Android is not the operating system when looking at their long term progress. As we all know, they have been trying to be as independent as possible without being reliant on other companies. They still are doing some business with some of the US based companies, but my prediction is that that too won't last long. Now as a replacement for the Google's Android OS, there have been announcements that the tech giant is all set to release its very own operating system, the Hongmeng. Hongmeng is the name registered in China, but internationally the name is going to be the Oak OS. Huawei's Oak project was a project that was under development for the last 10 years. The project was kept highly confidential by Huawei and now they are starting to make announcements on it. How smart of Huawei to come up with their operating system? Imagine what if the Oak OS didn't exist, Huawei's smartphone business would have been a disaster by now. Boom, boom, bing. As we all know, Huawei has been really great when it comes to what they built. For example, their very own Kirin chipset was astounding. And on that note, the innovation team has been doing an excellent job for the past few years. Now, building an OS is not as easy as building the hardware. It took Google years to bring Android into a really good shape. 
and still as we know google's android has not yet reached perfection like any other operating systems out there therefore we cannot expect huawei to be a bug free and an operating system with perfection initially the ceo of huawei has made some statements saying that the os will launch in the end of december 2019 in china and in the early 2020 worldwide there are also new surfacing that the company like xiaomi oppo and vivo are giving their fullest support to huawei by testing the hongming os in their own devices these three companies would possibly join hands with huawei in using the oppo os across their devices in future the first huawei device to feature the oppo os will possibly be the huawei's mate 30 pro The Oak OS according to the leaks has similar features that of Android and will have the Huawei Gallery app to download all the apps for the operating system. There were also some new surfacing that Huawei has signed an agreement with Aptoid which is a popular app market which has a wide range of apps which even include the apps that are not available in the Play Store. But it seems like Huawei is coming up with their very own App Store. There are some authentic sources claiming that the Oak OS will be 60% faster than Android. Yes, you heard it right, 60% faster. This sounds like something really astounding. If this is the fact and if Oak will have all apps like that of Android, I think the Huawei, Oppo and Xiaomi users too will not hesitate to switch to the Oak OS from Android. If this happens, majority of the smartphone users will use the Oak OS instead of Android, which will create a new problem for Google. Google by now has realized this issue. They by now have already lost billions. Although Google has a very powerful operating system, they will not prefer to have a competitor beside them which might cause them a huge effect anytime soon. Therefore, they are trying to trying their level best to resolve this issue with the United States government and to continue Android on the Huawei devices. There are also chances that the Oppo OS might fail. Android has been by far the best mobile operating system out there. The majority of the users might not prefer to turn away from the Google's ecosystem. Now the leaks have been growing quick and every leak matters. To make sure you get all the updates and the leaks instantly, make sure to subscribe us and click on the bell icon to get instant notification on our video upload. Give the video a thumbs up if it was really helpful. See you in another video. This was Akil for Tech Digest.